started the recording. Yeah, I think uh, just blood. So passing the ball to you. Go ahead, please. Right. Uh, thank you. Again, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, if anyone has questions, just feel free to interrupt. Okay, because this is entirely basically for the purpose of your understanding how to install all this. Thank you. Sorry, Bulat. Uh, yeah. Uh, once again, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Bulat. And those who uh, we haven't met yet, uh, I'm a developer at Osmus, and I'm working on the Odelia viewer. Um, and today's session is for us to show you the installation process, guide you step by step, uh, just in case, because we understand that the, it's a bit complicated and there are multiple caveats that people should be aware of. And then it would serve as a good documentation for the future users. Uh, so the agenda for today is, uh, I'll just have a couple of slides to give you high level architectural overview of the system. Uh, then we'll go into the live demo. So we'll take our staging server, uh, tear down the current installation and install it from scratch together. Uh, I'll show you, uh, nice. Uh, I'll show you the parts that uh, are, the parts that are to take additional attention, like exchanging the address of the server and how to configure the how, what the proper protocol should be, that kind of stuff. Uh, and then we'll have a Q&A session. So if you have any specific questions, I would gladly answer them. Uh, yeah, so going into the requirements, uh, they're very lean. Uh, we try to make everything as modular as possible. And so it runs on the Docker inside the Docker container. And the only requirement is for your system to have a Docker and Docker Compose installed and sufficient disk space for the studies because for the base uh, deployment that we assume everyone would use, uh, the Orthanc instance and the Odelia viewer instance are run on the same machine. And we expect 18 port open, but it is configurable and I'll show you the proper configuration steps uh, later on. Uh, so if we look at the diagram of the architecture from the higher level perspective, uh, the user doesn't interact with the Dell viewer directly. Instead, we opted to use uh, Nginx container as the reverse proxy to proxy the requests both to Dell viewer and to the Orthanc server. Uh, and this was a design decision which we had to make because of the thing called cross origin requests. Uh, so that when the Orthanc um, server and the Adela viewer are located on different machines, uh, the user from the front end could not actually request the content uh, from the different machine. That's a limitation. Um, so to circumnavigate that, we use a single entry point for the entire application, which gives access to both Adela viewer and Orthanc server, which complicates the installation a little bit, but gives us uh, certain flexibility, such as the Orthanc server, could technically be located on a different machine. Uh, now going into the live demo, um, so we have the our uh, staging server, which we will use today. Uh, as you can see, it has the. Oh, sorry, give me a sec. Uh, I need to grab the password. Yeah, it has the Docker installed, uh, no container run at this moment, uh, and it's attached to the domain name uh, odele.osmis.io. Uh, so for this demo, we'll need to remove the demo folder, uh, right? And let's just recreate it. Uh, now, if we, the, the main documentation of the pro, of the project at the moment are is located in the readme file on the Docker hub. And I believe uh, Pavel shared this information both in Slack and the email. But if you don't have this link, uh, feel free to ask and we'll share it again. It's publicly available. It contains all the necessary uh, images and it has the configuration in the, uh, the readme file. So uh, as you can see, there's a suggested directory structure that we uh, basically view as the target target standard deployment that we will we are going to support. Uh, we have a separate folder for configuration files, for logs, for studies, uh, and the Docker Compose file. Uh, 
And for all the files needed, we have uh, samples provided in here. So you just click on the name, it, uh, it expands. Let's start with the Docker Compose file. So we just take it in here. Uh, let's note a couple things in this file that might you might want to change. Uh, so one thing is the port, right? So as you can see here, uh, 8080 is the port on the machine that would be used to access the uh, viewer because uh, on our staging server, only the 80 port is accessible we switched it to 80. Uh, now there's also a couple of configuration files that are being uh, provided inside the Nginx. One is the, inside the containers, one is Nginx configuration, and the other one is the Adelia configuration file. Uh, and for the Orthanc, we have the Orthanc configuration file that is being put inside the uh, container. So now let's fill those files one by one. And for that, we'll make a directory with the configuration, uh, right? And then we'll take nginx config. Uh, for nginx, if the Dahlia viewer and the Orthanc server are located on the same machine, nothing should be changed. It should work as is. So we just create this file. Uh, now we create the Orthanc JSON file, which configures the Orthanc behavior. And in here, there's one thing that you might want to change, which is the authentication. So by the by default, the authentication is disabled because we assume that the system is deployed inside the protected environment. So you don't need to uh, fear about adversarial users maliciously gaining access uh, but because our staging is accessible from the internet we just want to have this thing just in case and let's say we have you can provide specify a username and password in our case let's do admin and password to delia and make the or think password protected right uh, now the last file that we want need is the Adelia configuration file let's copy it from from here, uh, sorry, I forgot the name. Uh, Adele, I can see, yeah. And in here, we need to change a few lines which correspond to the IP address of the deployed, uh, of, the, of the machine where it would be deployed. So um, in the demo, it has this addresses, but since we're deploying on the Odelia dot Osimis.io, we change all the addresses to that. Oh, sorry. Osimis.io. Uh, another important part is to note is that we're not using HTTPS, so the connection is not encrypted, uh, just because setting up certificates is a topic of, uh, of itself uh, and out of scope for support. Uh, once again, with the assumption that everything is run inside the protected environment. So uh, it's very important to change the protocol to HTTP in here. And uh, while accessing the viewer to change it to HTTP as well. While it's possible to do the uh, certificates, uh, it's not covered by the, you know, the default. So we're not assuming it would be used by everyone uh, in their setup. So yeah, change these three lines which correspond to the uh, DICOM instance. Uh, so we have the Nginx, we have Orthanc, we have Adelia, we have the Docker Compose. Uh, now what we might want to do is have folder for logs and for the folder for the volume, uh, just in case corresponding to the structure, right, logs, volumes. And the configuration, we just put those three files in there. Uh, and we're good to go. So to start the system, we run the Docker Compose up minus D. So in the detached mode, so you can see those, the containers are being created. And now we could access 
um, our server in here. And as you can see, one important note is that it's HTTP, not HTTPS. And we have the lovely login screen for which we enter admin and Fidelia. And it takes us to the main window of our viewer. Uh, no site is available yet, uh, but I'll show you how to fix it in a moment. So because we deployed both the viewer and the orthonk instance, the orthonk instance is also with the access from here. Uh, for that, we have the DAX admin. And note in here, which is a bit inconvenient, that if we access with the HTTPS, it doesn't work. We access with the HTTP, boom. We're taking to the orthonk uh, admin panel, where it's the plain orthonk. You can upload the studies in here from by using files uh, and do all the other administrative start stuff on top of the orthonk. Uh, I'd say that's mostly it. That's how you configure and run everything from scratch by using the configuration files provided. Um, now, I would be open to your questions. If you have any questions, I would gladly answer them. Uh, and if you don't have questions now, but you'll have questions in a year, by sure, feel free to drop us an email or reach out to us on Slack. We're very eager to for people to collaborate with us on this project. Uh, yeah, I would say that's mostly it from my side. For this uh, Pax admin URL, you have this in the instructions, right? Uh, I think so. Can you put uh, it somewhere? I think so. I would I would need to do one more route, uh, one more review of the instructions, and maybe make it oh, a bit okay. because yeah, to add it's the also the, useful to put this URL. Um, yeah, yeah, just yeah. in case. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, any questions from everyone? Is it uh, is it clear enough or probably needs to be you need time yeah to to absorb it. Uh, but anyway, uh, when you do the installation, whether it will be just uh, you, the person who is present here or your you know the technical the the technical person, then it's it will be good to have this demo we'll share this link and uh, you will be able just to use this as a guide step-by-step -step, uh, installation instructions we don't have specific questions okay i will stop recording